Chahata, the founder and CEO of Enigma magazine. And we're here today at the Guna Film Festival to interview its founder, the famous entrepreneur, Nagib Sawiris. The interview is going to be candid, personal, and we're going to find out all the secrets behind this amazing festival. Come on in. Nagib, you're known as a pioneer in so many fields and successful entrepreneur. And now you are the founder of the Guna Film Festival. With so many projects under your belt, what made you, what inspired you to create this festival? Uh, I'm always, I was always a movie lover, you know. I'm addicted to movies, to the cinema. I have a long history, I know, with the cinema. You know, I, even 20 years ago, I started building all these theaters, Renaissance, and so on. So, it's one of my passion, you know. I, usually when I go home, or I go to a boring party, I skip the party, I go home, I watch a movie. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I love movies and uh, it was the main reason and you know that uh, and Egypt was the leading uh, country in, in, in Arabic movies and yani. the whole Arab world used to look up to us because of our movies and our stars. So the idea came that I should reward that or help this industry by doing a film festival here out of Egypt that is managed, initiated, financed and by private sector, not any government in, uh, involved because then we can do really what we want without a lot of uh, bureaucracy and so on. The second reason was that uh, I wanted to uh, reward my brother because he's done a magnificent job with this city here, the most beautiful city in Egypt in my personal opinion. And uh, I wanted to give it a push, you know, like I wanted Guna to become where it deserves, you know, because, you know, it, it, is, it is international quality, you know. So this festival will put Guna in a different league, you know. And I'm starting to feel it even now, before the festival is finished, you know, because people didn't, many people didn't know about Guna, maybe many people came for the first time, and all these international artists that come mm -hmm. are the best ambassadors later on when they speak about Guna, they've seen it, you know. The third reason was that all these vicious uh, forces that try to uh, torpedate our tourism industry by violence or uh, terror, uh, uh, we need to fight them, you know. So there's nothing better than to fight them with the sound and uh, the, the picture and movies and the cultural element. At the same time, this will restore tourism to Egypt because it will show that Egypt is safe and we have a big international event like that that was run and made and was no, no incidents, you know. Mm -hmm. would prove that Egypt is safe and it will attract tourists to look at Egypt again and puts Egypt in, the, in a positive way in the news, yeah. Sure, of course. And so far the festival has been run very smoothly. Has this been organized by an international company no. that you brought in or a local Egyptian? All company? Egyptian young crew. Mm. Uh, it was Amr Mansi and uh, Bushra and uh, Kamal uh, Zeda. So these are really the three pioneers. And of course the manager, the, the guy who really is, the, I call him the chief editor of the uh, festival, uh, Mr. Intishal Tamimi, uh, he has done a great job. I mean, he, the cinematic part of the, I mean, he made all the workshops, he chose the movies, the, the committees, the, the, um, the judges, and uh, all the, I would say, the people from the industry that were invited to, he, 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 he did this all, you know, so he deserves a lot of thanks too, you know. And wh when you were inviting like foreign press and foreign celebrities, did you have any challenges? Were people still afraid to be involved with something in Egypt, or did you find it easier because it's not in Cairo and people weren't as scared? Maybe? No, it was not easier because you know people, you know, in America they don't know even you know, where India from Egypt yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they don't know where India from Egypt. Are. Uh, so it wasn't easy because they said, oh, but there is a lot of terror. And so I used to tell them, look, you're walking in London and some crazy guy yeah. comes with a car and kills you. You know, in Paris, you're sitting in a restaurant or a cafe and they come and shoot you. So don't tell me about terror. At least here, we're, we're equipped and we're prepared because yeah. we've been used to this kind of act. So the, the, uh, we had some problems, but in the end, many big shots came. And uh, mm -hmm. so we were very fortunate, yeah. Is there anybody that you really wanted that you didn't get this year that you're going to try to get next year? No, I, I mean, I, we didn't invite Robert De Niro, but <laughs> if, I, if I had a choice, that's the guy I would invite. That's you know, I'm guess. supposed to have lunch with him in the winter, this winter, so I'm going to extend him uh, the visit to come. He's my, like, my hero. Okay, mm. amazing, amazing. And I know you've been involved in the Cairo Film Festival in the past. 
uh, that being a government-run uh, festival. Has this been a completely different experience for you now? Because no, it's, it is not a different, a completely different experience. It is a different project completely because in the Cairo Film Festival we're just a sponsor. So we're not engaged or involved in the management of the festival itself. So it's run by a semi-governmental management. And they usually, well, they did their best all the time, you know. They don't have a lot of resources and they're bound by all the bureaucracy and the routine, how to spend the money. And they have all the interferences from many areas around. Guna is a free, uh, it's a free space here, so well, it's much easier, Yanni. And we are, you know, in the private sector, we can spend the way we want, to utilize the talents the way we want, and a completely different story, Yanni. Yeah, yeah. But I will support the Cairo Film Festival because if you love movies, you will help anyone who's involved in anything that helps movies. It's not about, uh, we didn't do this for fame and glory, Yanni. We did it, you know, for very clear uh, objectives, Yanni. It's basically to benefit our, yani to help our country out too. So the Cairo Film Festival will be the same, you know. Mm -hmm. So I intend to help them this year too. Okay, amazing. And uh, was this based, when you chose Guna, was it based on a film festival somewhere around the world that you had attended that was also in an outdoor summer no, no, resort? No, 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 no. It's just because it's a beautiful spot. Mm -hmm. We're in control here. Mm -hmm. So there are no external elements that could spoil things, you know. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we administrate this city, so we are free, you know, and it's a free environment, so, and a beautiful environment. And we can expand here, I mean, let's say we bid five uh, uh, theaters this time. Mm -hmm. If we need ten theaters next year, we can build another. So you built five theaters for this? No, house. we built three. Okay. There was one in the German University, TU University, mm -hmm. and then there's the open air screen, which will, re which will remain. So we have four screens now. Okay, amazing. And, um, so far, like being the first festival, what would you say was the biggest challenge for you in making it happen? <laughs> that we didn't have the experience mm -hmm. to do a film festival. Mm -hmm. So that's a challenge. We had to learn to do everything from scratch. Mm -hmm. So it's actually amazing that there were no fatal mistakes. <laughs> Uh, so the, when we we are going to do a SWOT analysis later on post uh, mm -hmm. event to see what we could have done better and so on. But frankly, there was no fatal mistakes. Uh, but this was a big challenge that we didn't do it before, you know. Yeah. Second challenge is, you know, people don't know, many people don't know Ilguna, many people don't know us. So when you invite people, say, who, who, who's this Sawiris and who's Ilguna and who's that, you know. And, and who's this guy trying to do a film festival? They take you lightly. They don't know that, okay, we have a track record of doing things the right way. Yeah. So we will not uh, put our reputation into questioning or jeopardy and we will have to do something successfully. You know. yeah. But they don't know that, so that was a challenge because you were talking to people and, and uh, I mean they check you out, you go to Google and they see who you are. And I like mean, your name is pretty international. It helps, Yanni, but yeah. Yanni, not everybody knows me in the end, Yanni. it's not like, uh, uh, so that was another challenge. And uh, frankly, uh, the third challenge was working with my brother because <laughs> 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 because we don't get along and, and we can we never In do it. No, we never can do. I mean, like uh, I can't w with the two. We never w could really work together. So my dad was really wise when he said everybody should take his business <laughs> on his own. And yeah. so, uh, now this first time we do something together. So it was challenging still, yeah, because we don't have an, the same, yeah. Any, but is, I feel like this is your baby. Is he just as involved as no, you are? No, or? no. He, this is my my uh, project, mm -hmm. and um, but he's involved too because he contributes to Guna with all its facilities, mm -hmm. and he has uh, he's provided a lot of things, all the hotel rooms uh, for some financial support too, and so on. So, but from the beginning, I told him if I do this, the captain has to have one master because my brother has a. We're very different in character, you see, so it's, diffi it's difficult, you know. He describes me the, the right way, you know, it's just like, uh, Nagib can be crazy, I'm not, you know. Uh, Nagib is like uh, someone who's, uh, it, uh, I read an article today, it says Nagib is like flying a speed, uh, like a um, Zayel uh, Concord, Concord oh. plane, or when he comes, he's like he's driving a super, now, but me, I'm coming on a donkey, but I'm happy. <laughs> I don't know why he describes me. <laughs> he said that. Well, I am shy to Okay, but uh, okay. How would you tackle that challenge next year? If it's going to still be in Guna, right? I think he. I don't think he. Don, he expected this kind of uh, 
impact and success. So I think he will be a more cooperative late next year, Jan. Okay. I do hope so. Okay. <laughs> and on the brighter side, what has been the biggest highlight or what has made you the happiest so far with how the festival is going? <laughs> well, <laughs> the after parties. <laughs> Which one? I missed them all. I just no, arrived. No, each one. Every day. Really? Every day we had an after party. Every day. Amazing parties. I mean, I've never enjoyed a week in Guna in my whole life like this. Wow. I didn't go to bed to sleep till uh, six o'clock every day. Yeah. And who's organizing these after parties? It's spontaneous. You know, there were like many who were organized. Like the after party of the opening was... Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't get to this one even? No, I just arrived wow. today. Like, ask anybody you attended. It was massive. Maybe... 3,000 people, uh, ask him, you know, he was there. And uh, a massive party. A party was like an amazing party. And then after every day, there was people doing parties in their houses or, or in Pier 88 or in Aurora or everywhere. I mean, it was like, the town was like on fire every day, you know. Even tonight, you know, there's this big party. So this has been the most powerful. And then the movies I went to see, for me, the, the short movies that I went to see, were like amazing, you know. Yeah. yeah so Any favorites? The first two, I think. I mean, like, uh, but I bought all of them. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm not, and I'm trying to buy all of them because it's not done yet. But our amazing movies, and and uh, also because of our theme, you know, cinema for humanity. Mm -hmm. So most of the movies we selected were really touching on humanity. And amazing. And I heard today you uh, initiated a partnership with the actor Forrest Whitaker. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I have uh, dis I discovered that he's in, involved in South of Sudan, mm -hmm. and I have a soft spot for Sudan in general, North and South Yani. But in the South Sudan, I used to know Dr. Garang, who was the, really the liberator of South Sudan and the creator of this country. And then he was either murdered or, or killed in a, in a helicopter crash. Nobody knows today whether he was assassinated or it was an accident. But he was a charming man, a very like a like a, an angel, yani, you know. And uh, uh, he had his PhD from the States and was a very nice man. And it wasn't even for separation; it was for one Sudan. But he wanted equal rights, not based on religion or race. He was a profound man, you know. So I uh, and I visited him a lot in South of Sudan. I visited where he was born and I visited his camp. And I also worked in North of Sudan, Khartoum, with. Uh, and, and, and mining activities and so I love Sudan because I always feel the Sudanese people are very near to us like I love the Nubians for example yeah, you know? so yeah, I feel they're like uh, very nice people so uh, we, 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 just, we came to know each other you know and I said I told him I want to be involved with you I want to help her like that and then I met him we became friends mm -hmm. and I'm supporting now his organization you know and uh, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to travel soon again together to south of sudan and uh, i invited him to the film festival and he said i'm coming you know like that and he came as you see so today you know so and he's a very you will see for if you have the uh, someone can send you the the the, the video of the uh, conference the press mm -hmm. conference mm -hmm. you will see how much of a kind and sweet man he is he's very well spoken i saw him once in the no, 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 he's a passionate man with a heart and yeah yeah so that's great. So that was the big announcement. Uh, today, yes. Today, amazing. Mm. And I heard Oliver Stone is here. As also, well. Oliver Stone is here. Yes, yes, he is here, and he had a, a workshop, and uh, and they also were airing the interview he did with Putin. Wow. So tonight uh, it will be aired on, on TV. Oh, amazing. Yeah, eleven o'clock. He made a four-hour interview yeah, with I Putin. Yeah, I heard about it. I want to see amazing, that. Amazing, amazing interview. Oh, you've seen it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. And uh, so it's, everything is going, and uh, all these important people, these are like... Uh, For the first year, uh, I think it's amazing. Uh, uh, and we had uh, also um, Dylan McDermott. Yes. And uh, Matt... Um, let this move on. <laughs> what was he in? He was in Kill Bill Volume 1, and two, the guy who, was, who buried... Uh, um, you know, he's the guy who put uh, Anna Thornton in the... Uh, in the uh, Okay. I didn't see Kill Bill. Okay, we'll find out the name. You didn't see Kill Bill? I know, it's too violent. Don't Bahaya. tell anybody. Okay. Well, uh, Pulp Fiction? <laughs> Pulp Fiction I saw. Sorry, mesh. But I heard Kill, Kill Bill was more violent. Uh, it's, of course it's violent, but it's amazing movies. Uh, anyhow. Uh, we'll make it happen. Okay, so for the future, next year, given now you've experienced this almost over, 
what is your big goal for, for next year and the future of the festival? No, it's, we have to improve every year. Mm -hmm. We have to get more accreditation, we have to invite more international people. Mm -hmm. And the more we do that, it should be ranked as one of the best in the world, you know. I'm, I don't, uh, you know, you know, I don't, me, I'm not a guy who, who, who stops uh, except when I hit the ceiling, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. So that's where we want to go, you know. We want to be one of the best uh, film festivals in the world, you know. So mm -hmm. We have everything that it needs, you know, this place is awesome. Uh, now we've proven that we have organizational skills. Mm -hmm which is in Egypt always yeah, yeah. a problem. And we have gained credibility after this event. So why should we fail next year? We should do better, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. And on, is this festival a part of like a new v kind of entry for you to do more in the film industry? Do you want to invest more in movies No, I'm now, inviting, or? I'm producing movies. I pro yes, oh. of course, I produced Maulana. I'm yeah. the one who produced Maulana, yeah. And I produced uh, Rahim Fidahi, it's a comedy. And uh, now I'm going to produce a new movie for Ibrahim Aisa called The Guest, Al Dave. Mm -hmm. Amazing movie. It's going to be an amazing movie. The story is amazing. Uh, and uh, I'm also going to co invest in a movie in this. Uh, because what, what we achieved also in this festival is many people found deals, mm -hmm. they, deals, you know, they could find financing for their movies. And so, so one movie which I'm going to invest in is also. Uh, it's a great movie. I don't want to blow it up, but it's uh, the story of the the guys of the Charlie Hebdo, the attack, and so yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. And would you invest in Hollywood movies as well? I'd rather invest in my own culture, yeah. Or, or sort of like joint production. Maybe I don't want to spend too much money now. I mean, <laughs> it's like very risky I'm business. Sure, this was quite a big. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a project. Very big. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I don't uh, think I'm going to, I want to take it slow. And um, in my life now, I don't want to work too much. You know, I've worked so hard all my life. So now I'm more like, I want to take it easy. So the more you do, the more you have to work. Uh, so this, even here, I have to work a lot, you know. Yeah, but this is something you were passionate about. You wanted to be hands on. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like all the night places I have. I mean, I do them because I want to have a high standard of a place where I go at night and I enjoy myself the way I want. Yeah. So it's the same thing here. Yeah. Yeah, you wanted to have a great festival yeah. that you could enjoy in Egypt. And I did. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Thank you. Great. Good.